Hi, my name's Gwen and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So at the Gwenbassy I had another one of these arrive, the old realistic PZM microphone. Uh, the reason why I ordered another one of these is firstly because they're cheap and secondly I realised that it might be possible to convert it to run on my uh, camera for doing videos. So like we talked about last time, this thing has a, a battery compartment in here which takes a one and a half volt battery. But it can also be powered with up to a 12 volt supply. So I quickly measured how much uh, phantom power my camera puts out and it's two volts. So that fits perfectly within the one and a half volt and uh, 12 volt range. Now, like I said, the last time this thing is positive ground which is really annoying but I think I'm going to convert this um, in a much more simplified way to how I did it last time with the phantom power. Uh, try not to solder to that uh, microphone capsule and um, you can follow the whole process with me and then at the end I will connect it to my camera and we will see if it records sound. Now, after the last video, a friend of mine called Radio Dario uh, sent me a message and asked me exactly how the microphone is working. So it works on the principle that um, a normal microphone is hearing direct sound like from your voice, but also reflected sound, so that the sound that comes off the walls and, um, and the floor from your voice and those multiple sound sources uh, interfere with each other and uh, reduce the sound quality. So the idea of this pressure zone microphone is that it only listens to the reflected sound. So the sound comes in and it bounces off the metal plate. Now the end here has the microphone capsule in it. And as you can see, there is a small air gap here at the end. So it is only receiving the sound reflected from the metal plate. So it bounces onto the plate and then up into the microphone here. And that way it doesn't get any direct sound at all. It is only getting sound which is reflected off the plate. And that is the principle behind which this microphone is designed. But let's get on and modify it. Here is the microphone end itself, but what I want to do is to see how it is wired. Um, so this part I won't need the jack and, the, and this power box. So what I'm going to do is unscrew this and then um, disconnect this cable. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is to check the the polarity of the power that a 1.5 volt um, supplies into the into the microphone element. So I'm just putting a battery in and I will switch it on as well. And I'll get my multimeter and I'll um, measure the voltage. This is the wire going to the rest of the mic, as you can see, and there's a screen and a white core wire, and I'll just want to measure the voltage across that. Is a negative voltage, unfortunately. That's what um, I thought it would be. So I need to do something nifty with the polarity of the power at some point, but let's um, just start by um, desoldering the, the box from the rest of the component. And we're just left with the end part. I will remove this um, cable grommet here. It looks like it, yeah, it's just gonna slide off. Now I ordered a, um, I ordered a three and a half millimeter stereo connector just from Amazon actually. Uh, which I'm going to solder onto the end now. As I say, annoyingly, this is a positive ground circuit, but I'm going to 
attempt to address that at the other end. Uh, I do still want to have the screen of the cable as being ground, um, because at least that will provide some sort of uh, noise rejection. I could wire it so that the signal is on the screen, but um, I don't think that's a very good idea. The tip and the ring are left and right, so we can tie those to the, the core of this cable. And then the, the shield will just be connected to the shield, so that's left and right and, and ground. It's a shame that they don't give you a balanced microphone connection for this stuff, but that is the standard, unfortunately. Now I'll just um, screw the rest of the case onto it. The end is connected, but I need to rewire the part where the capsule is because this is wound for a negative ground and this is wired for a positive ground. So I will open it up and see what I can do. So there is a little screw here. Now, last time, I don't know, maybe you haven't even seen the last video, but if you recall, I resoldered the wires on this end capsule directly because I wanted to make sure this outside of the capsule was still ground. Now this time I'm not going to attempt to do that uh, because it was a complete and utter uh, pain in the arse. But I still do need to make sure that the electricity is going in the right way so all I'm going to do is um, swap the black and red wires around here and leave the case of the mic. There we are. Switch the wiring that end. And I've soldered this stereo plug on the other end. Let's try it. So this is the end of the video. The audio you're hearing at the moment is being recorded from the realistic PZM. The introduction was recorded on the Boyer mini shotgun mic. The middle section was recorded with an Amazon Basics lapel mic, so you should be able to compare them and, and see which you prefer. I hope this was useful for some people. Maybe you want to modify your own realistic PZM to use with your camera. Uh, consider liking the video and, and subscribing, that would be awesome. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.